this is Summer with Summer's Tips and Stitches and this video is going to be the Christmas Tradition Tag. Christmas, yeah, that's I think that's what it's called. Christmas Tradition Tag 2018. I was tagged by, um, shoot, I forgot who. Oh, Karen, Happiness Homemade. And then the gal that started it, which I think her name was Stitched My Lou, but now it's like so sweet or... I don't remember what she changed her channel name to. That's how it is. I don't know. Um, she had sent me a message and said I could do this if I wanted to. Okay, so off after that. Um, the first question is when do you start decorating? Typically I like to do it ASAP, as soon as Thanksgiving is over. Um, but it really ho depends on one, um, when we have our tree. And two, when my husband helps bring all the bins out of the basement. Um, and when I say all the bins, I flippin' love Christmas. So I have a lot of decorations that I put out. What is my style? Now, I know there are words to describe styles, like kitschy or kitschy or traditional or... I can't even think of them now because I don't know what any of them mean. So I would say Christmas American traditional. Because it's like I decorate <laughs> in the style of Christmas. Red, green, silver, gold, blue, you know, because snow. And, um, you know, blue and white for the snow, blue, white, and silver. Uh, and tradi American traditional. So I use, you know, a lot of Santas. Christmas Village, Snow People, Baby Jesus, Nativities, like, I go all hardcore. We rearrange our living room completely so that we have room, and I empty out pretty much every space in my house that has any kind of decorations or anything so that I can put Christmas there. Um, so my tradit, what, what style it is, is, uh, yeah, just Christmas, Christmas style. <laughs> You know, um, my favorite tradition. I would say from a kid, my favorite tradition was on Christmas Eve, we would open one present that was mailed to us by our grandma Goodwin because she always lived far away. And so I really loved that on Christmas Eve, we got to open um, whatever she mailed us. Um, I've kind of carried that tradition on a little bit with my kids in the aspect that they get to open one present on Christmas Eve, that tradition. Unfortunately, or fortunately, all of their grandmas live within, you know, X amount of miles. So they all see, they get to see them all on, on the combination of Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, and the day after. And when I say all, because my husband and I both come from divorced families, my children have four grandmas and three grandpas. And then, um, unfortunately, now they're down to just, I think, one great-grandparent, whereas before... You know, they had like five or six great-grandparents, um, but as they're passing. So um, that is my favorite tradition, is having my kids open one present on Christmas Eve. And those typically for us, my family's new tradition, I like to have um, Christmas jammies. In the first couple years, they were very excited about that. But now as they get older, they really don't care about the Christmas jammies. But I just really liked giving them brand new Christmas jammies to open up on Christmas Eve to put them on and then they'll be wearing really nice brand new Christmas jammies the next day for picture taking because I take lots of pictures on Christmas. Um, so the next one, favorite place to buy decor. Um, I would say recently, and of course this has a little bit of a backstory to it too, I like to go to Goodwill. Number one, I like the idea that um, it's not brand new stuff, if you will. Uh, it's re reused. And um, the other thing is, um, in my stepmom's side of the family, there are, uh, there's a family tradition of having these special homemade Santas from Nana. And unfortunately, she has passed. And most of the Santas have been passed out, and then there's there's kind of a sad story that goes along with that, which we don't have time for. But anyway, so I one time was at Goodwill, and I saw they had one of these hand-painted ceramic Santas that very much reminded me of the ones my Nana used to paint. 
And so every once in a while I stop over there and check out their Santas, their Christmas village, their snowmen, their Christmas trees, and I allow myself to buy like one or two new things from new to me from you know the Goodwill thrift store. Um, typically though if I'm gonna get like Christmas wrappings or like garland or whatnot, Hobby Lobby. My favorite Christmas movie, um, two, well two and a half. Number one, White Christmas, love it. I used to be in show choir when I was in high school and we sang the song Snow so when Karen was talking about in her video, how whenever it snows, she thinks snow, snow, snow. I do too. And I think about show choir and singing all the parts with my friends. And I really loved it. And then my sister was in an all-girl show choir for the younger aged folks. And they sang Sisters. And um, they were like companion show choirs, if you will, because there's always way more girls in show choir than boys. So one was a mixed group and the rest of the girls were in a girls group and they sang Sisters. And so her and I, it's kind of special to us being sisters. So anyway, that's why I love White Christmas. And then also my new, f new favorite is Elf. But then also in America around this time of year, they play uh, Sound of Music from like Thanksgiving to Christmas. And so that's usually on this time of year. And so that I think of as a Christmas music, you know, movie. Um, this is going to be long. <laughs> okay, so favorite drink, eggnog, hot cocoa, or apple cider. Of course, I love chocolate, so I love hot cocoa. But to be honest, my absolute favorite, which is kind of, is uh, peppermint mocha coffee. <laughs> doesn't have to be Starbucks. It can be just regular old Folgers with some peppermint mocha creamer in it. Um, that's what I like to drink all winter. Do you leave cookies for Santa? Yes, we do. And it's really just whatever we got. A couple years we've baked cookies for Santa. Other years we've, um, you know, whenever you do like church get togethers and they do like pass the plate of cookies. Um, sometimes we leave some of those for Santa. That's usually, you know, just whatever we got. Um, real or fake tree? real. Now, I love the process. We always go to County H Tree Farm in Door County. We get our tree there. We make a big deal of it. My husband and I actually went. We got married in just January, but we got our first tree in December. Um, I was just graduating from college and student teaching, so I was moving into his, his apartment because then we got married in January. So I was in that transition of end of semester, student teaching, so I, we got a tree anyway, to make a long story short, a county tree, county age Christmas tree farm. So every year, pretty much, there's been here or there, you know, depending on circumstances, every once in a while we bought a real tree from a lot, but most, 90% of the time it's from county age Christmas tree farm, um, which also plays a role in when we can set up because... Now that we don't live in Door County in, anymore, we got to try to get a trip up to Door County. And in doing so, we have to try to find a weekend where we can get up there. So unfortunately for us, we haven't even started Christmas decorating, which I would like to have been underway. And then, so we won't even be doing that till like December 8th. Um, I would like a fake tree though, because I hate, just like Laurel and Dabbling Hook, finding those pine needles all over my house year round. But I like the process of having a real tree, going and getting it, cutting it down, smelling it. But I hate cleaning up after it. And I hate picking all those pine needles out of my Christmas tree skirt. Okay. Favorite holiday dessert? You know, I've kind of morphed into my husband's Christmas tradition for this. His family flipping goes nuts over peanut butter balls. Which basically seems to me to be like gobs of peanut butter dipped in chocolate. So they're good, but really you can only eat one and then you've had enough, but it's a thing. He gets very excited about it every year. Sometimes his mom, like one year his mom drove down to Oshkosh or we went in Sturgeon Bay when we lived up there. Uh, his sister and him made them. Like some combination of that family loves the peanut butter balls. So I kind of like, like it. But to be honest, I'm not really an experimental cookie eater or dessert eater. I mean, I'll eat them. I love them all equally. <laughs> um, but I really would say, like, when I think of Christmas dinner, I think of having a chocolate pudding pie with whipped cream on it. How simple is that with graham cracker crust? Um, but 
yeah. So, yeah, Christmas dessert. Favorite Christmas, oh, dessert and cookie. Let's just combine those two right there. Because I, again, I mean, gingerbread cookies are cute. I'll eat any cookie. Really, I'm not too picky unless there's a lot of nuts. Um, open Christmas Eve. Do you open our Christmas, or do we open our presents Christmas Eve? So, typically, like I said, when I was a kid, that was my favorite tradition, one present on Christmas Eve, and I've carried that with my kids, but because, like I said before, my husband and I both come from divorced families, we are really opening presents from, like, Christmas Eve, most times, is at his dad and stepmom's house, and then Christmas Day, I, like, we will, like, drive home so that we are back at our house Christmas morning where we open our presents and then sometimes depending on when we can fit it into the schedule you know it might would be like Christmas Eve in the morning with dad and Tammy or in the afternoon we're at Mary and Jerry's I mean it's really some kind of combination so there are presents being opened on Christmas Eve but like our family like my husband kids and I Christmas morning on those ones um what oh, do you decorate your Christmas tree yourself? <clears throat> so I've always dreamed of having a gorgeous catalog or magazine movie, Christmas movie tree, but it's never happens that way. And I know this is going to sound horrible, so please don't hate me, everyone, but I just flip and hate all those kid made ornaments. I know it's not horrible. I mean, I totally love that my kids made them and I totally love that I made them because my mom gave me a good many of those, but I just don't want them on my tree. I want to have one of those beautiful and that into my mind, a beautiful tree would be, um, a themed, a themed tree. So maybe one year it could be, <laughs> I know half of you people out there are hating me for this. It could be a kid themed Christmas tree where you're having all those like kid ornaments. And when I include in those, not just the ones that your kid made, but like the ones that have like Mickey Mouse on them. <clears throat> I have one that has a Curious George because I used, as a kid loved monkeys. So I'm just saying, I just hate those chachi kind of ornaments. And that's what we have. We have that on our tree. So that's a long story to say, I let my kids and my family just put whatever they want up there. I will say I do like, I'll open up the box of Christmas ornaments, and I hand them to the kids, and I'm like, here, this is from your first Christmas. Here, this is from Grandma. Here, this is one you made. Here, this is the one from the year I was born, because my mom did pass on some of those. So I do tell the kids as they're hanging where they go, or where they came from, to kind of cement that tradition of them knowing where they came from, so when my husband and I are gone, they remember, and they have meaning to them. But then, as, just like with Karen, I have my own set of icicle slash snowflake ornaments, and I put those up. The kids do not. That's my part. So I pass out all those other ornaments. They fill up the tree. And I'll tell you what, side note, one of the most annoying things to me, don't I sound like a bah humbug, is when my kids try to put <laughs> like ornaments together. I don't know what it is. Is it just my kids? So, like, my daughter has this, like, small collection of, like, ballerina dancer ornaments. And she, like, wants to hang all of those ballerinas on the same branch. I want them spread out, people. <laughs> and then, like, my son will do that, too. If there are, like, some horses, he'll put the horses near each other. Like, ooh, another horse ornament? I better go put this by the horse. <laughs> I think that's what they think. So, anyway, as after they put all those up, when it's time for my icicle ones... I then like start casually moving the others around to space them out, spread out the ballerinas, spread out the horses. Some of the branches that the kids have put like five ornaments on that are like sagging all the way down, I kind of give that branch a little relief and move it around. And then I put on my icicles and snowflakes. And so don't I sound like a bossy Christmas tree decorator? It sounds horrible when you say it out loud, but that's pretty much what happens. But, I mean, I love it. I don't know if the kids notice that I move around their ornaments and kind of try to fix it. At some point, if we ever had like a, I would say a bigger house, I might would want to have like a family tree somewhere in the family room. 
and then like a pretty tree for me somewhere where I could have like, you know, beautiful teal glowing lights with silver and white decorations like in a catalog or a magazine. I don't know, we'll see. Whatever. Up till now though, it's the family tree that I get to put icicles on at the end. Um, where are we on Christmas Day? Kind of said that before. My husband and I are making it a very serious goal so that our kids wake up in our house on Christmas Day and we're trying to be together as a family, a five, a five some, you know, five some, so that we're together in our house. So if we have to leave a Christmas Eve celebration early or we go to a Christmas Day later, like after three, that's generally what we want. Um, because then we just sit around in our house in our jammies. I have little mimosas. We do a traditional family breakfast where my husband makes French toast and fruit salad and bacon. And we just, you know, have that family breakfast and just take a nice relaxing morning. We, so that the kids can play with their new toys. I always just hated that idea of just like, okay kids, pack up, it's time to go. <laughs> You know, I know you just got that whole big pile of treat, you know, new toys, but can't play with them yet. <laughs> so that's what we like to do. Christmas morning, our house for at least till three o'clock. Um, my favorite Christmas smell. I would say lately I'm really loving, and I don't know if all the Joannes have these, but they're these bags of pine cones that are like doused in serious cinnamon smell. I have that hanging in the garage so that when I walk in, from getting out of my car. Mm. And then in my, my um, wax warmer, I have, I do my own combo if I can't find the exact scent of apple, cinnamon, and some kind of forest or pine tree. I like that whole smell. And you would think I'd like hot, hot apple cider, but I don't. And I like apple pie, but I really love, to me, that Christmassy smell of like, Baked goods and cinnamon and trees. Um, favorite thing to craft or make? So typically I don't, I've made, my the favorite thing I've made is my Christmas tree skirt. And I promise you, as soon as we haul the bin out, if it was in the one of the front bins, I would have made my video, but it must be deep in the Christmas pile. I love that I made that Christmas tree skirt because I made it nice and big because I wanted my tree skirt because we get a big tree to come out and just be like a couple inches past the is that the diameter or circumference of the tree I want a nice and big one so I made one um, but typically I do generally do make Christmas crafts like I made these cute little hat ornaments for the tree one year um, and then I paint wine glasses and so I've made some that look like, I call them Santa babies, and they're like red and green, and they have a little, they look like they're in a dress, and they have a little faux fur on them, and little gemstones. And then you can also take wine glasses and flip them upside down and make them into candle holders. And so I painted penguins, reindeer, snow people, gingerbread people. So I like doing all kinds of that kind of craft stuff too. Um... And then, you know, I do make, I do crochet a present for all the sisters and sisters-in-laws. Because like I said, with the divorces on both sides, we, I, I have like pretty darn close to 10, I think, sisters or sisters-in-laws or stepsisters or half-sisters. And then I have two, I have a stepmom, my husband has a stepmom and I have a mother-in-law and I have my own mother. So I try to crochet them all something. Um, one year I was giving out um, virus shawls. This year I'm giving out Laurel's big button cowl. <laughs> uh, last year I was giving out a combo of market bags and coffee cup warmers. So I do crochet a bunch of stuff for all the ladies. Um, so that's it, that's the Christmas tag. That was, this is probably one of my longer videos. Hopefully I can find deep within my computer uh, maybe a Christmas tree <laughs> picture. <laughs> uh, so please like and subscribe. I'm going to try to link this video to the original Tag Starters playlist. And then um, I am going to tag a few people because I was trying to, I've been watching everybody's. Setas, Z, Karen, um, the Katie and Crotcheter. 
Scraptastic Jane, Scraptastic Yarn, Gypsy Rose. I've been watching all these, so I've been kind of in my mind making a list of people who to tag that they haven't already tagged. And I came up with Angela Crochet Art, Angela. She's just started her channel. So, you know, check her out. She's a fun gal. She's been in my comments for the last year. Uh, Llama Mama, Kayla. I'll tag her. Jammin' with Yarn, Shirley. I love watching her videos. And then Christy Cook with Tea Doddles. So you gals, if you watch these videos, <laughs> maybe I'll send you a message. If I could figure out a way to send messages, other than maybe put one in your latest video's comment. Um, do a Christmas tradition. I don't think I've seen one from your page or your um, video pages yet. Um, until then, please don't hate me for saying that I hate Christmas ornaments from kids. I don't mean it like that. I love them, but I just want a perfect tree. You all know what you're saying? I, didn't, I know that sounds horrible. So please forgive me if I hurt anyone's feelings by saying that. And certainly my own kids. I don't even think they heard it. But if they do or ever watch this someday, I am sorry if I hurt your feelings. Okay. Well, anyway, thanks for watching and for subscribing and check out these other Christmas video tags. And until then, happy crafting.